Okay, I'd like to welcome everybody to the public hearing concerning proposed local law number blank of 2023, a local law of the town of Webb providing real property tax exemptions from the town taxes for volunteer firefighters and volunteer ambulance workers pursuant to section 466-A of, of the real property tax law. I am now calling this public hearing to order. Will Nancy, will you read the notice of public hearing, please? Notice is hereby given that the town board will hold a public hearing on November 14, 2023, beginning at 7 p.m. at the Town Information Center, 3140 State Route 28, Old Forge, New York, concerning proposed local law number blank of 2023. The proposed local law would provide a tax exemption from town taxes of 10% of the assessed value of property to qualifying volunteer firefighters and volunteer ambulance workers. New York Real Property Tax Law Section 466-A grants local governments the authority to enact such local laws after holding a public hearing. Copies of the proposed local law are filed with the town clerk at 31, 3140 State Route 28, Old Forge, New York, and may be reviewed during normal business hours and are available at the clerk's office. Please take further notice that all interested parties will be heard at this time and place. Please take further notice. If this local law is adopted by the town board after this public hearing, such local law shall take effect upon filing with the Secretary of State. Dated 10-10-2023, Nancy T. Russell Templark. The purpose of this hearing is for public is for the public comments on the proposed law. All comments shall be directed to the town board and be relevant to the topic and will become part of the record. When called upon, please state your name for the record and please keep your comments to no more than three minutes. Do I have any speakers? Mary? Mary Brophy Moore. I think it's a great idea. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Anybody else? No? Having, having heard all comments from those wishing to speak on this topic, would someone like to make a motion to close the public hearing? So moved. I have a second? No second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. All opposed? All right. I'd like to welcome everybody to the Town of Webb November regular meeting. I am going to call the meeting to order and ask that everyone please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, Indivisible, I would like to thank everybody for coming tonight. Please sign the attendance sheet if you have not already, and please silence or turn off any cell phones. The next regular meeting will be held on December 12th, 2023 at 7 p.m. December Audit of Claims Meeting will be held on the first Monday, December 4th, and the third Monday, December 18th. Both begin at 5.30 p.m. Exec executive session may occur this evening, if deemed necessary. For correspondence tonight, the Northern Forest Canoe sent a thank you note to the Town of Webb for the $1,000 donation and thanked the town for their continued support of the 90 miler. The town received a letter of resignation from Rick Brewer, dog control officer, effective October 20th. Uh, Bonnie would like to uh, extend her thanks to Rick Brewer for acting as dog control officer. He did a fine job while in position and he will be missed. The town also received a letter of resignation from Linda Grace for her position in Sharp, effective November 27th. Bonnie would also like to thank Linda Grace for the years she put into working with our seniors. She has put a lot of time and effort into the program and she will be greatly missed. Um, we have a request from Kyle Brown, the Town of Webb School Athletic Director for the Park Ave building for volleyball, Monday through Friday, 3 p.m. to 4.45 p.m. Okay, so moving on to our somewhat lengthy list. We're going to start with local law blank of 2023, a local law of the town of Webb providing real property tax exemptions from town taxes for volunteer firefighters and volunteer ambulance workers pursuant to sections 466-A of real property tax law. 
The board held a public hearing earlier this evening, and I would like to ask what the pleasure of the board is. Um, make a motion to adopt the, the law as, as is. Okay. Motion to adopt. Do I have a second? I'll second it. Okay. Okay. Mike. Uh, any board discussion? Sounds like a great idea. No, well, I mean, um, well, Kelly has basically given us a rundown of what it's all about. <clears throat> I think it's not just, you know, just join one of the forces and all of a sudden you're you're a part of that. You have to be for a certain amount of time or not. Right, two years. Yeah. Right, so it's, well, it's pretty self-explanatory. <clears throat> all right, Nancy, can you do a roll call vote, please? Councilman Gardner? Aye. Councilman Greco? Aye. Councilman Green? Aye. Councilman Ross? Aye. Sorry, you don't get a vote. Yeah, it happens. <laughs> You're out. <laughs> You're out. <laughs> Man out. All right, on to our next topic, Macaulay Mountain Deck. The Macaulay Mountain Deck bids were extended on November 6th until Tuesday, November 14th. All bids should be to the town clerk by 3 p.m. on or before November 14th to replace the deck at Macaulay Mountain to create a safe and comfortable environment. Nancy, do we have any bids? One. The bid is from Tuscarora. They're out of class guy. They did our dock, one of our docks. Okay, to whom it may concern. Tuscarora Construction Company proposes to perform the work required for the Town Road Project replacement deck at Macaulay Mountain as detailed on the single drawing by Jeannie White and is included in the notice to bidders one page in the technical notes three pages for the lump sum of $277,810. Say that number again, please. $277,277,810. <laughs> it's cheaper than you thought. Mm. No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> What's the pleasure of the board? Does this include everything? Do you want the second? I I don't know. I don't think that that's anywhere near in the realm of. <coughs> so, uh, do we need a motion to not accept then? For so you need a motion not discussion? to accept, and then if you're going to go to rebid, I would wait till January and then redo these bid specs and get every all your ducks in a row. I mean, I guess the question is, do we think that it's going to be cheaper if we rebid it again in the spring? It's not going to happen now. Well, that's <laughs> I'm not a builder, so I, I don't know how to put that in the round, but that's a lot of money for a deck. Dave's got his hand up. What do you got, man? Well, I'm just saying that through every contractor, it's middle of winter, concrete's hard to come by one, and you're going to have to cure the concrete, so you're going to have to blanket, heat it in these conditions. And two, the bid documents that we received did not include any specification on the handrail or any finishes. Um, so that does not include any of the staining it or painting of any of the deck there as well so I'm just pointing those two volumes out. Yeah it's my understanding there was no tear down. Um, it didn't even accident. mention the demolition. It yeah. did not it just it kind of did it was it, uh, yeah. uh, I guess so I guess that I would make a motion to uh, hold off. Not accept. Not accept for right now. Uh, the, the one recommendation I would possibly make is maybe we should look into can we build some simple stairs that would be qualifiable and usable for, you know, at least off one of the doors for the, a temporary period. I don't know if it's worth it or not, but no? Yeah, fire <coughs> no. I guess that's, I'm just putting that out there. I don't know. I mean, I, I mean, any board discussion? Well, at that price, I have, to, I guess I have to agree yeah. that yeah. I would rather, yeah. I know we all want this deck done. We, we never, we didn't want it to leave, but 
unfortunately this happened. But I think that you always get a better product if you do it when it's not cold and snowing and everybody's running around up there and skiing around it and trying to make snow. It's just going to be, to me, it's just going to be a, not a good scene. But I, so I'm going to agree with Kurt and say that I think we should just hold off. So clear up your specs and go with it in January. Did a summer without it. In fact, we can do a winter without okay. one. Just get it straightened out, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I, I would recommend we need to figure out a I want to hear from everybody too. The better details on, on uh, yeah. Yep. For There's many questions. holes in that spec. I mean, I come up just a quick list of about eleven. Okay. And then just questions and you know, so is it especially the knowing about is it worth the worth tank. us getting a, a again like this whole committee thing and right. a group on or something along those? Why don't we do a roll call vote on this and then we can bring this up later during public comment sure. and discussion. Sure. So can I get a roll call vote on that, please? And what are we voting on out here? On the motion yeah, not to nah. accept. <laughs> nah, okay. okay. Just want to make sure. I'm <laughs> 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 first in line here. So <laughs> 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 you okay down there, Kurt? <laughs> Councilman Gardner? Uh, aye. Councilman Greco? Uh, aye. Councilwoman Green? Aye. Councilman Wall? Well, I'm Four ayes. Okay. Not to accept. All right. <laughs> Next, heating fuel, number two. Uh, heating fuel oil number two advertised to bid. I need a motion that the board adver to advertise and accept bids for the proposed purchase of approximately 40,000 gallons of number two fuel oil during the period of January 1st, 2024 through December 31st, 2024. Specs are on file with the town clerk. All sealed bids to be in the hands of the town clerk before 7 p.m. on December 12th, 2023, at which time they will be opened and read aloud. Do I have a motion? Motion to advertise. Second. Second. Who is that? Yeah. Any discussion? No? No. Nope. Roll call vote please, Nancy. Councilman Greco? Open out of order. Councilman Gardner? Aye. Councilman Green? Aye. Councilman Ross? Aye. Four eyes. Testing one, two. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ultra low sulfur diesel and winter blend mix to advertise <laughs> to bid. I need a motion that the board advertise and accept bids for the proposed purchase of approximately 65,000 gallons of low sulfur diesel fuel and winter blend 5050 during the period of January 1st, 2024 through December 31st, 2024. Specs are on file with the town clerk. All sealed bids to be in the hands of the town clerk before 7 p.m. on December 12th, 2023, at which time they will be opened and read aloud. Do I have a motion? I'll make a motion to go to bid. Okay. A second? I'll second it. Okay. Any discussion? No. Nope. Roll call vote, please, Nancy. Councilman Gardner? Aye. Councilman Greco? Aye. Councilman Green? Aye. Councilman Ross? Aye. Four eyes. <coughs> Unleaded gasoline regular ethanol, 10% advertised to bid. I need a motion that the board advertise and accept bids for the proposed purchase of approximately 20,000 gallons of unleaded gasoline during the period of January 1st, 2024 through December 31st, 2024. Specs are on file with, town with the town clerk. All sealed bids to be in the hands of the town clerk before 7 p.m. on December 12th, 2023 at which time they will, they will be read aloud, they will be opened and read aloud. Do I have a motion? I'll make a motion to okay. accept. Second? No second. Okay, any discussion? Nope. Roll call vote, please. Councilman Gardner? Aye. Councilman Greco? Aye. Councilman Green? Aye. Councilman Ross? Aye. Aye. Okay. Uh, surplus, I need a motion to declare a Clark large automatic walk behind scrubber surplus a new machine was purchased this year and this machine is no longer needed the scrubber will be sold online at auctions internationals website uh, what's the pleasure of the board i'll make a motion to put it up for sale okay second second okay any discussion no all righty roll call vote please councilman Casey. gardner aye councilman greco aye Councilwoman Green? Aye. Councilman Ross? Aye. Four eyes. <coughs> All right. uh, civ civil service. Steve Billings from Herkimer County Personnel civ Civil Service has asked for a resolution for recreation manager and Macaulay Mountain office manager. 
I need a motion uh, for the town of Web Town Board is taking the recreation director position and making it a recreation manager position. This is a full-time job with benefits, and the Town of Web Board has created another position for Macaulay Mountain for an office manager, also full-time with benefits. Do I have a motion? I'll make the motion that we um, create the recreation director, or excuse me, manager position and the Macaulay Mountain office manager position. Okay. Do I have a second? I'll second. Okay. Any discussion? No? Any All right. Roll call vote, please. Nancy. Councilman Gardner? Aye. Councilman Greco? Aye. Councilman Green? Aye. Councilman Ross? Aye. All right. All right. Uh, the Macaulay Mountain Comprehensive Plan. The Town Board held an informational meeting on November 6 on Macaulay Mountain's future. The master plan is to develop a long-term sustainability plan that ensures Macaulay Mountain ski area remains an attractive destination for generations to come. This comprehensive plan should guide the development and management of Macaulay Mountain ski area, helping it grow into a premier skiing destination while preserving its natural beauty and contributing positively to the local community and environment. Uh, before I read the motion, I would like to just read a letter from Supervisor Baker um, that she had, has asked me to read tonight. Dear Town Board and the Town of Webb Community, this letter is in support of adopting the 2023 Macaulay Mountain Comprehensive Plan. In adopting this plan, it will give <coughs> us the opportunity to apply for grant money within the state funding agencies, as well as preserve the mountain's identity as a tourist and ski destination. If you haven't already, please take a look at the improvement plan the committee has put together. To everyone who worked on this, it's a, very, it's a job well done, and I thank you for all the hard work that you have done. So I am looking for a motion to adopt the Macaulay Mountain Comprehensive Plan. I'll make the motion to adopt the Macaulay Mountain Comprehensive Plan. Kurt, do I have a second? I'll second it. Any discussion? Um, I think it's a wonderful um, plan, and I hope that the board will continue to look at this plan two years down the road, three years down the road, and update as necessary. Um, if you get certain things accomplished and you see that there's more that can be done, because I think you said that it was fairly specific to the lifts and that sort of thing, so lighting and other you know things that you want to add to that, I just want to make sure that it continues to grow with the community. There will be an added uh, list of expected expenses, like snowmobiles X, X amount of years. Like the, when it comes to budgeting, we, you know, we have other departments that are in sync with that, but the mountain doesn't have sync, you know, other than the groomer, we don't have things synced up. So we will have a, an expense plan that'll be coming sometime. Uh, I'd like to just say a huge thanks to Brian Bamberger. Uh, this wouldn't happen without him. He put a lot of work in it. Well, I'd also like to thank you, Kurt. You put a lot of time into this. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, can I get a roll call vote, please, Nancy? Uh, Councilman Gardner? Aye. Councilman Greco? Aye. Councilman Green? Aye. Councilman Ross? Aye. All right. All right. Uh, the Macaulay Mountain Chairlift Acceptance. I need a motion the Town Board accepts a gift of a used chairlift from the Olympic Regional Development Authority. And the terms of the delivery and attendant logistical arrangements will be set forth in an, in an agreement, the form of which will be subject to approval of town council. Do I have a motion? I'll make the motion. Do I have a second? I'll second it. Okay. Any discussion? Uh, I did speak with the lawyer, Borders lawyer today, and they had a full board discussion over it, and you know everything's in place basically. They just asked us to send a letter of support from our senator uh, and just documentation of understanding how much of a savings this is for us. But um, basically, every, everybody's on board there. Um, just we just you know they'll write up the paperwork here after Thanksgiving. They said they got a lot going on, trying to get the hills open. So probably shortly after Thanksgiving, we'll have the the documentation for them. But it, they, they'd like to get it all wrapped up in December. So. And then what, we just give that to our lawyer at that point, Nancy? Yeah. So that yes, kind of so this is based on our lawyer reviewing it, making right. sure that we understand what we're accepting. Okay. 
Correct. Uh, and that we're okay with the terms. So as long as our lawyer is okay with exactly. it, then it's basically done. Right. right. So. Mm -hmm. Any other discussion? Uh, and it will be, uh, I did ask him to confirm, it will be either free or basically one dollar. They're not sure which way it has to go, but essentially that's, that is the understanding on both parties. Roll call vote. Roll. Roll call vote, <laughs> please, Nancy. Councilman Gardner. Aye. Councilman Greco. Aye. Councilwoman Green. Aye. Councilman Ross. Aye. 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 <laughs> Councilman Gardner. Yeah, anything uh, for us tonight? Yeah, I just um, I, again, I want to thank you know Mike, Steve, uh, Brian, Linda Bamberger was involved, Tim Kuhn, everybody else that has put an input to us and, and stopped us on the streets or talked about the plan up there and put their input into it. Um, I, I think it's a really big deal for the town. Um, uh, the mountain bike trails—they're done working on the mountain bike trails for this year. They got about two miles done of the seven miles that we're supposed to accomplish with the grant that we got from the state. So that was a, a huge accomplishment for this year because they started late. <coughs> um, they, uh, Eli is gonna go and continue flagging uh, this season, if you can, depending on snowfall, uh, to be ready to, so that he has all the new trails flagged out exactly so in the spring they can attack it. Uh, they did have two crews working at the same time in there, two excavators uh, and a bunch of crew members at different times. And, and then also after, did a ton of volunteer hours up in there. I'm not sure what the hours worked out to, but it came to about six thousand uh, dollars, and um, that is going towards our matching process. So you know, at the end, I forget what it is. I think it's around twenty thousand dollars they can contribute, or twenty four, twenty twenty two, twenty two somewhere in there. So that uh, their volunteer hours actually count towards instead of the town uh, having to pay money in the matching funds, their volunteer hours actually count towards. Uh, that too, so up to twenty-two thousand. Uh, so we're on target of, you know, they're they're on target of hitting that because, again, we started late. So if we have a full season next year, it wouldn't shock me if that number was was higher. For this year. Um, so and they did a great job. So I I've, I haven't walked up there since before everything started. I walked it with the APA, but um, I, they have to document and send lots of pictures, and it, it looks amazing. I mean, it really it's. It's about a one mile downhill uh, trail that they, they have going down and there's a three quarter mile going up, uh, climbing trail going up that so uh, it's pretty exciting. And then uh, um, Schuster's will be installing the floor. Ideally, they have to get with Ted uh, in the equipment room there. Uh, that should be happening the week of Thanksgiving. So that is it. All right, thank you. Uh, Councilman Greco? Um, just a couple things. The rec center down there, um, we got these commercial fans that we're trying to put in to help with the heat. It seems to be holding heat pretty well. I mean, it shuts off pretty quick, the thermostats, when we turn it on. We leave it at 60 for all that's going on in there right now. There's karate there Monday through Thursday. The sports from the school are going in there Monday through Friday. There's toddler time Friday morning. There's first through like sixth grade age. They're in there on Saturdays. and then. You know, we have our events it's like snow deal coming up and all sorts of things. So it just seems to be uh, seems to be coming together pretty well. The key, uh, there's the new door in the front of it. The key fobs are coming. I think he's coming either tomorrow or the next day to, to install that and then get the cameras, um, you know, set up so we, we can protect the place a little more. Alex Ross is just doing a great job down there. There's even been a couple <coughs> phone calls from the from the school at times for him to help out with setting up certain things, which we totally get is not his job and he just knows that building in and out so we got to give him a lot of credit for the, for the work he's been doing down there um, we just had a you know our, our election here and congrats to Ben out there and, and Kyle um, you know Nancy staying on Bonnie she's not here I, I think uh, we got to give some credit to the people that ran April and Dave and you know this being up here is not the easiest thing it's been two years and there's not really a way to know what the heck's going on and and you kind of just get thrown into it and I think uh, welcoming you guys to this board and, and trying to keep you know staying on the same track that we're on is going to be uh, uh, something that we need to you know make sure we make it a priority moving forward because we've got a lot of stuff to address and we're losing you know, two great people here on the board right now in my opinion and uh, hopefully we can still you guys use you guys as advisors for, for all that comes at us and then uh, yeah I don't know I just feel like we're 
heading in the right direction. The housing stuff is still all up in the air. We all get that, but I feel like there's some some private stuff going on. It's maybe not so town driven. That seems to actually be addressing the problem in some way. So it uh, just feels like there's there's some folks working together on that stuff. So that's all I got. All right, Councilwoman Green. Good, good teamwork talk, Tom. Thank you. Um, Basketball season. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Thanks, <Timberwolves>. Coach. <laughs> <laughs> um, Nancy, do we know when we'll be advertising for um, Sharp and the dog control officer? Sharp, I think we can do right now. If that's what you guys uh, want to do. <coughs> and dog control. Yeah, Sharp. Uh, Bonnie had made mention that uh, she would like a Sharp advertisement for that position ASAP. Um, and she feels that the dog control can wait until January. <coughs> okay. So we can make them do like December 8th and do it a good couple weeks, three weeks for sharp. That's not like a plan. Yeah, yeah, it sounds good to me. Right. I just yeah, I'm good. I'll do my best to get it in Friday. Do we need a motion? No. A motion no. for that? No. What are the hours so like for that? I, don't, I actually don't know what that means. <coughs> lunches and, and different. It's primarily Thursdays um, at this point, but there is room for expansion. So um, I'm hoping that it will grow a little bit as it moves forward. Um, <clears throat> uh, with with sharp in mind, we had a really nice luncheon the other day with the police. We had four of the police officers that came, and a good gathering of our seniors, and it was really nice. They actually hung out for a while and chatted, so it was really a, a good um, a good visit for everyone. Um, during the time period when we're advertising and waiting, I'm I've been working with these guys as the school liaison but I'm happy to come in and help more. I really enjoy spending time with them too. So I'm looking at Mary because she's one of the committee people for it. So um, so if they're, if you feel shorthanded, I'm happy to come in and help out. Um, can, I, can I just, since you're talking about yeah. it, can I make a comment? Yeah. I mean, there, so I'm just assuming that you would like the two of us that really kind of have been doing a lot of stuff to continue running it as is. Do you know what I mean? I mean nobody Correct. has said, okay, right. would you do this well before we get a new director? Right. Well, in so I'm just, I don't, because we're going to have to spend money. We're going to, you know, I, we need some kind of, we feel like we need some kind of authorization to continue the program as it is and what, the way we've been doing it until we get some. Money. Well, I think any money spent would have to come into the office to Nancy or Bonnie. Well, it's really yeah. just yeah. mostly lunch. We've got it's charges. It's all those mostly places. food. Right. Yeah. And the receipts come here. Yeah. Okay. So I think it would be fine. Um, yeah, there shouldn't be too big of a crossover time-wise then if we advertise soon. And but it should be fine for it to continue operating as, as is yeah. if there's somebody there to... Well, well, what you said that Mark and I have kind of said between ourselves, we yeah. can keep running it yeah. if, if it's okay with you all. I mean, we, we just wanted to, that's why it came, so get some kind of yeah. authorizations to say... Yeah, yes, it kind of got dumped on you um, so. without... <laughs> I mean, that certainly wasn't our intent. No one's intent, to be no, honest. No, of course not. But, yeah. you know, it, it's not a big deal. We just want to make yeah. sure we're doing things properly. Yeah. So there's that was your date, the no question about it. This month. Yes. Was that one? Yes. Yeah. Um, one other thing, well, when we get our rec position actually hired and in place, yeah. I would like to start a walk with me program because everybody knows that I walk all the time and as it gets slipperier out, I'm happy to go into the rec building when there's something else going on that we wouldn't be in the way so that I, you know, to walk and anybody who wants to could then join me. And I did mention it at the SHARP meeting the other day, gathering. Um, if there's people interested in there is one woman at least that would be interested in, in coming over. So um, what time? I don't know. I, that's why I want to just wait till the, the new manager's in place so I can talk to them <coughs> and see what, you know, daytime, daytime for sure. Because I mean, there's nobody, nobody in there before that. You know. Yeah. It almost, it almost would be nice if there was something going on mm -hmm. so, so that it's go. also like a social interaction or at least mm -hmm. visually there's activity happening so it's not just putting people in a walking in a circle. Well, I'll be listening to one side and walking around. <laughs> well, I think yeah. at, at, at 3 p.m. for right now, though, it could, it could just, you know, that would be an okay time. Cause okay. You wouldn't be in the way of the activities that are going in there now. I won't start it until, yeah, until, not only that, but the weather, I, I'm not going outside until <coughs> I have to, but um, probably in December I want to start. I just want to need a program for that this year as well. So. Okay. And that's all. All right. Thank you, Barb. Uh, Councilman mm -hmm. Morales? I don't really have too much. I do. I would like to uh, say congratulations to the recently ele elected officials. Thank you. Uh, um, but no, I, 
Had a late night last night. I'm <laughs> tapped out. <laughs> <laughs> Just got home very, very, very late last night, so I'm, I'm good. Thanks. <coughs> uh, Nancy. Got a couple things. So, North Street Kinderwood is going in on December 2nd, 4 to 8, to have a movie night down at uh, Hildebrandt Center. Um, Inlet Church is having something on Friday, 11 17. They're having a party down there. On 11 25, Karate's having an expo, 4 to 9, right, Jim? Okay, 4 to 9. And then I think Tommy mentioned Toddle Time's in there on Fridays, 10 30 to 12. So, we've got lots of things going on down there. Um, garbage schedule. Next week's going to change because of Thanksgiving. Is it next week? Yeah, next yep. week. Uh, Thursday pickup will be Wednesday. Friday will be Wednesday also. It'll be in the paper. Um, I sent an email to everybody and only heard back from two of you about those baskets, hanging baskets. We weren't going to do them. Correct. We well, weren't going to do them because we thought we were going right, to Right, because banners. of that. So yeah. I don't know what to right. do. What do you yeah. want to do? Banners. Right, yeah, true. Who does the baskets? The one that Kate does. Living so ADK and Matt Mountain Greenery. They're the ones that sent me the email. So they're okay with doing it if you wanted to do it then? or No, they were, just con baskets. they were just confirming that we weren't doing it. That's when I send the email to you guys saying, are we not doing it? And that's when I got an email back saying, Do they well, want to? I mean, if they want to, they can. If they don't want to, then... I guess that's it says just confirming. It doesn't say one way or the other. Okay. I didn't call them because I didn't know what you guys wanted to do. Well, we basically did them say them we aren't do doing them because of the banners. Yeah. So. I'm, okay <laughs> I'm okay with doing it. It is nice having something, but, you know, again, it, it is late. And, we were going to do the banners, I thought, but we don't have any. We don't have any. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got those um, stars and everything out there. I mean, it's do we though? Sweet. Snowflakes are up. They, they are. They're, they're not up. They're, they're not up. up. They're going to be up this week. Then. Okay. Yeah, they're not up. They're snowflakes, not the stars. It's it's up. I wait for the banners. I would just say if they want to, let them know if they want to. Okay. Eagle Bay does their own or no? No. Yeah. No. I don't know. No. Eagle Bay does their own flowers. Oh, okay. Right. All right. All right. If they want to do it, they can. If not, we're not. Okay. Um, I have a letter from CAA. Uh, Dear Town Supervisor, Miss Baker and Town Board, the Central Adirondack Association would like to congratulate Bonnie Baker and Nancy Russell on successful re-election. We wish you both new board members, Kyle Lindsay and Ben Hanna, the best and look forward to working together to accomplish great things in the new year. The CAA has begun working on 2024 events and the first on the list is Winter Carnival. We'd like to secure Macaulay Mountain Chalet for the event on February 10th and 11th. Winter Carnival will include live music and fireworks as passed. Once approved, fireworks permit certificates of insurance will be provided. Thank you in advance for your cooperate or thank you in advance for your consideration. If you have any further questions, please call. So are we doing fireworks? Are we allowing them and are we doing fireworks? I'd say yes. Sure. 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 Why not? Um, okay. There, there probably will have to be just some kind of semblance of, of <coughs> crowd control for people going in and out without the deck being available. So that might want to be mentioned, just you know, because we've only got those side doors. So. Okay. And that's all I have. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. Okay. Well, then. Uh, at this time, I'd like to open the floor to the public. If anyone has any questions, comments, concerns, feel free. Just raise your hand and state your name for the record, please. Mary? You know my name. <laughs> <laughs> Just wondering about the banners. You mentioned banners. What, what are they? What yeah, are they? Uh, it wasn't in the budget this year, but uh, Mike Farmer proposed they had these different banners that were going to hang on the, on, the, on the poles coming off with different pictures of what happens in the community and what's possibility in the community that you can do. So when you're driving through or if you stop for launch and you're not familiar with the area, you can see skiing, kayaking, you know, just the different kind of <coughs> events, kind of stuff that we have going on here. But you don't have them. No, he was trying to figure it out, but he didn't. It, unfortunately, it didn't work out with his budget. We just mm -hmm. found out uh, he thought he was going to have money left over in his budget mm -hmm. to be able to do it. It's not there, so. Hopefully, by spring uh, we can do this. It sounds like probably in the springtime or yeah, mm -hmm. the new year, new budget. Mm -hmm. Thanks. He'll be able to do the banners. He's already stuff. talked to the company that's. Printing them or doing whatever, whatever they do, so it's kind of in the in the making. It's just right. not or just <laughs> financially, it didn't work out the way. It wasn't in the budget from the beginning for this year. It was a new idea. Thought he, he thought he could finagle it a little bit and just you know whatever. Life happens. There's a lot. His his budget's very tight to be honest with you. I think um, personally, and so there's not a lot of there's not a lot of giveaway in there for him. <laughs> so. <clears throat> 
Any other questions, comments, concerns? Linda? I'm Linda Wheel, Old Forge. I just want to make sure that people here know, and I do have cards. Um, love to see town board members tomorrow and anybody from the community. Uh, community Wellness Partners um, is trying to establish, uh, it's almost, it's a Haska-like home health component that we're lacking here, right? With our senior population, 50% of us in the town of Webb year-round are 60 and older. Um, as we know, um, about one out of five of us are 50 and younger. So we know people who need help at home. There's a reception tomorrow at Nichols Church where community wellness partners would keep an office. It is from four to six and excitingly, their partners from Presswick Glen will be serving their delicious gourmet dishes and drinks while they tell us about their services. Um, I think it's just really important, not only that people who need this service now, but people who may need this service, and people who are just interested in the well-being of the town um, go and just get an understanding of what this is, um, because we need good information out there on this. Um, this is something that is going to help, you know, everybody around the county, all over upstate New York, all over the rural Northeast, is losing capacity in home health care and we actually could be gaining some everybody is losing this and this is one area where we we might be gaining something that everybody else is losing so um if you need a reminder let me know and if you want a card i have them thank you linda thank you very much uh, anybody else questions comments concerns mr moran yeah uh, paul moran um this is kind of more of a proposal to the town board, but every month that I come to these meetings, <clears throat> um, there's more ideas put out about when we have a bad winter, low snow winter, <clears throat> so on, and how to bring more people to the community. I've heard hockey and a bunch of different things, which are, you know, it's all fine and good. The proposal that I'm trying to put, or will put together if there's some of the board, is and I'm going to say the word ATVs and UTVs. There's companies that now make track kits for these machines. They do not require snow. They can run in two or three feet of snow or anywhere in between. My proposal would be to permit them to ride our trails during the season, during the season only, from the time we open our trails to the time we close our trails, April 1st, or if we have good snow still, they extend it, whatever. But they have to be tracked. Um, right now, all your emergency departments are now using side-by-sides on tracks. The police department here uses one. Our fire department, Kego Bay, I believe, has a ATV and a UTV on tracks. Big Moose has a UTV on tracks. Inlet. I know they have a UTV, but I don't know if they have tracks on it. I think they just leave theirs on wheels. Most of the snowmobilers, I believe, that come here and also <coughs> rent here for the wintertime, most of these people already own <coughs> UTVs because they ride them in the summertime. And I think if it was doable that they would probably track them if they could use them in a winter like last year where we had very poor snow conditions. And that's what I'm, I guess I'm looking for from the town board is, you know, is this something you, can we look into? Should we look into? And if, if you would, I, I'd be glad to do it. Um, that that discussion has been going around. I think it's a good one. And I, and I personally, I've been open to it. Like people have talked about, like maybe the, the shoulder seasons are maybe during the snowmobile season. My first response to that, all like in my own head is, if somebody brings in like a letter or some sort of something from the <laughs> APA that says they're okay, that then I think it's time to... I, I don't know why we would need APA approval. I, there are trails. It's our property. One thing you'd probably need APA is if I know, I think it's them, I'm not sure, but the width. The width, of the, they kind of cut us down to a pretty narrow, some of these trails on state land. Most of them, Mike, are, are five feet and less wide. Our, okay. UTVs are, are the, the widest ones I know of are under six feet. 
that's but that's also part of what you're doing. So to answer your question, I, I'm I'm definitely open to to that proposal. I, I, I think for sure. You know, but those questions need to be answered. That, though, I think. My, pardon me, but um, I would leave the API out of it. Yeah, I, I, I'm not, I don't know. But if they're going on stuff. state land, I don't know that you can do I that. I don't think we can. We can't give them authorization to go on state land. Okay? They, that would have to come from the state. But our trails and the trails that we lease, okay, we can give them permission to ride on it. It's ours. It's not New York State. It's ours. You'd have to check with the leases yeah. also. I, I, yes, you just, would, yeah. Barbara, I'm not yeah. arguing that. Yeah. As far as the state going through the Moose River Plains, probably going to shut you down. Do you know? Do you know other areas that combine both like that? Can you give? And Canada's I don't mean this minute, but years, can you? I believe the Tug Hill yeah. does allow some track vehicles on some of their trails also. In the in the Midwest and out west, they I can think, use them for years. I guess in your proposal, if you can if you can show case examples. I, I don't know if I help. can do that, Bart. Okay. We, we may be the first one to do it. I don't. You know. Um, but they're a fantastic winter machine, and they're again, they can be used in no snow, low snow, or a lot of snow, and they're, they're not going to hurt our trails any. That I know because I've actually used one for the last 20 oh. years on our trails for snowmobile recovery. And <coughs> they don't do, they, they don't do damage to the trails as, as a lot of people think four-wheelers are going to do a lot of damage too. I've used one of those in Canada for years and they don't. I mean, you, yes, you can go race hell if you want and, and tear everything up. You're not going to do it with a track kit because your speed is reduced by better than a third. So it is, and the other thing as far as width on our trails, hell, most of our trails are, are 30 to 100 feet wide now. They're not the little narrow trails that we used to have here. They've been widened out over the years. So I don't think width is going to be a problem. Um, Mike, what you're talking about is groomer width. This is not; these aren't groomers. Yes, I just, I just, some of these that I've seen are, are, are fairly wide. I mean, I'm not, I'm not against anything. They're, they're pretty, they're pretty wide. They stick out quite a ways, and two of them come together. They're going to need some room. Yeah, we've got plenty of room out there. With the exception a lot of the trails, there's a few places. I mean, any trail system is going to have the narrow spots, but the majority of our trails are well over 30 feet. Because I'm out there at a time in the winter. Um, the other thing too that it does I would be a death trap. <laughs> I don't think so. Well, in certain spots, yeah, but I mean, how fast are they going to go? <laughs> the, 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 probably top speed 30. on any of them is going to be thirty. Uh, a lot, 30 of, uh, a lot of them are much slower than snowmobiles. Exactly. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> much. And, and <laughs> Kurt asked me that question earlier today. Is, uh, if you have a snowmobile come up behind one doing thirty, he slides doing eighty. Well, what are they going to do? Are you going to slow down? They're going to go around. Or they're going to run into it. No, I wouldn't you know, feel comfortable. The same as if you had a snowmobile doing 30 and another snowmobile going behind it. One of those three things is going to happen. So, I, the, the other thing too is older couples, they can't ride a sled anymore. Um, you can cab these, put heat in them, they can get in, they can go ride, they can enjoy their trail systems again. Um, families. Yeah. Families. Yeah. Bring it on. Bring on that proposal. I mean, uh, if, if, if there's an interest <laughs> of the board, and there's two new members here of this board, if there's an interest there, I'll be glad to continue on. I think the first two phone calls would have to be with the state just to find out what the answer would be there with the state trails, but also the logging or lease agreement <coughs> to make sure that they're not opposed to it. Because yeah. obviously that would be... I can probably tell you the state's going to say no. I'm assuming <laughs> they have to. I think they have to, unfortunately, with the classification, but... Yeah. But, the, but, I think but the timber company, if, I mean, if they're not on board with it, that's going to do those. That would be, be the first one. Do those right vehicles first. have to be registered? I would say yes, they would. Yeah. But Absolutely. New York State says a snowmobile has to be registered in New York State. It doesn't matter where you come from. Right. ATVs do not. You don't have to register an ATV in New York. You can register in California and ride it in New York where they're permitted. So you take a UTV. We can't register a UTV in New York State. You can insure it, but you can't register it. You can register it in Pennsylvania, register it in Vermont. Mine's registered in Pennsylvania. So as long as it's registered and insured, I don't really see a problem. Up north of us, the side-by-side -side vehicles and stuff, they 
permitted right on the roads and stuff. Yes. And they ain't, they can't register them because they're not registrable by the state. So the state yeah. doesn't have a register. You can get a registration. Most of Lewis County, <laughs> you can get and they talk about trails, allow the UTVs as long as they're insured. You they don't have to. Require them to have trail permits also. Yeah, yeah they've got Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They get it on paper. But I'm not talking about right bold. now allowing them during the summer season. I'm talking about <laughs> our snowmobile season Jeez. on our trails and leases, provided their leasers are, would be on board with it. And they have to be on a track camp. No wheels, no tires. Towards Lewis this also includes the town roads that the snowmobiles use because how are we supposed to drive down the road with this thing you know same way you would in a car same way you would with snowmobile but don't they take aren't they wider don't they take up more room of the road Slightly, yeah. Yeah. Maximum of 18 inches, yeah. maybe wider than a new stance of sleds. I, I'm just concerned with the safety hazard on the roads, but I yeah. have that concern with snowmobiles well, too. So. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of conversations. Yeah. The other yeah. thing, too, yeah. yeah. as long as you, you know, she's talking about that, is I really think we need to start controlling which side of the road the snowmobiles are riding on. Because they're coming at you in all different directions sure. on any road. They're, they're, they're riding where the snow is. Yeah, especially especially now there's people at the rec center, too. I mean, okay. we need to really start to enforce that. That they need to stay yeah, to the we're by our school. It's a nightmare. Yeah. Well, Park Avenue is a mess. <laughs> because your trail goes down, they come out on the road, they go back on the trail, they come out on the road. You don't know which way they're going to come at you. You're literally it. saying that Even that is a big down problem, down and now we're going to add another vehicle. <laughs> like, that's what you just said. That you're saying, no, in general, that we're having a problem, and now instead of like, ah, okay, let's throw in another type of vehicle to make the problem a little bit worse. So there's a lot yeah. of conversation yeah. that needs Tons. to happen. Yeah. Well, I would love to see a proposal. I'd love to talk to you For about sure. this because I've mentioned it before. There, there's ways to um, fix it. Yeah. Yeah. There's ways. There's a solution to every issue, mm -hmm. problem. We Except can see. Yeah. <laughs> just park it. Just park it. Yeah, sorry. Paul's just being proactive about like the, the the notion that snow is going to continue to go away. What are we doing to address it? We're jacking up our mount, hopefully, and using that. But this could be another alternative. But yeah, we just gotta. You know, what is it? Cross all. The, cross all the T's. Cross all the T's. There you go. <laughs> it's a conversation. Yes. Conversation. Mm -hmm. Like I said, I'd love to talk to you more about it, Paul. Um, anybody else? Thank you. <laughs> uh, Dave Kleps, uh, back to the uh, to the lift that uh, you you know voted to proceed with it. Does that mean you're going to advertise for engineering study right away and try to get this design? You're going to so get a lift so engineer on board. Yes, we already uh, the lift engineer that designed it originally should be the one that we were hiring. That um, makes sense. It, yeah. And uh, to me, it's a sole source thing here. He already has all the documentation, has all the paperwork. Yeah. Half of the work is already done. Um, he is on board. We reached out to him. There's only there's very there's only two in New York yeah, State, no, and he works with the other one too. So uh, there so that really means is the funded, one. Funded like you could. We have the money. Right, yeah, we already have. We have two hundred. We have two hundred eight thousand here. Two hundred eight thousand dollars dedicated to the cheerlift, I think, mm -hmm. uh, in in reserves, mm -hmm. uh, specifically for that reason. So uh, probably <coughs> on. This week, I'll, I already he was he's supposed to be sending us a proposal. I was hoping to have it by today. Uh -huh. uh, his name is Ross Stevens. He he did the work. It's going to be roughly around sixty to seventy thousand dollars for the engineering for the one chairlift, which is normally two hundred. You know, I mean, you think it's it. realistic that you um, could get so the work done? Yeah, this he's year? yeah, oh yeah, no, he's no, he, I meant the, this, everything installation. The so, whole deal, so what, what I will in happen? the last three weeks, <laughs> Brian and, you said, and I remember you know, last at the presentation, he said. Got to get funding first. Yes. I mean, so, so we have reached out to the people. So um, basically, everything is potentially in place if the bids are accepted, right? For the people to do the work is. Um, but the only thing that we haven't been able to lock down is whether or not the helicopters will be in the region mm -hmm. in late fall, because it's going to take till end of August, early September, for all the the slot window right now of the people that do. Potentially, at least these people we talked to, the window of opportunity they have is in Octo August for them to do all the site prep. And so you don't need grant money in place to keep going with this whole plan. 
uh, grant outside grants that take time it was to brought get up out. to the board about putting money aside out of the res out of the town's reserves and dedicating it to this so dedicating it to the this. whole project to get yep. it going to keep it going to get it done this as far as season. I'm concerned by accepting that trails we're installing it we, we don't need it to sit in a parking lot somewhere no that's so what I was afraid of it, I'm it, just it, thinking of that sitting somewhere the, that our all in our I think everybody's sitting here I think I mean mm -hmm. I, I think I have it right but we're all on the understanding that we're taking money out money of the fund balance to do this. This, this is going to up. get grant money to help. It's, it's getting picked yeah. up yes. in September. It's Definitely. getting picked up in April and brought over here. And mm -hmm. great. You know, hopefully by the time February, March comes along, everybody's going to be hired yeah. on board and locked because we have to lock them in, right? Yeah. I mean, this is not waiting around. No, it's awesome. I think so. That's great. So just, it was Ross Stevens said all that he'd get it going right away. Um, we would. I, I mean. I, he should look at the other lift too. When he finishes the first yeah, lift, right, how long he should just quickly look at the other lift and see what is what's going to be needed for us to pull that other lift off potentially while we have them on the on the payroll. Mm -hmm. I think it'll be a lot cheaper than having to do it as a whole new thing. Are you thinking the length of the existing lift has enough capacity? To Four thousand feet. And we're we're twenty two hundred feet, so oh, there's yeah, roughly eighteen hundred feet. Over, but it just depends on where the top, like you know, I'm talking to him because he goes, let me see which towers I'm going to use and where yeah. when I get the elevations and, and get the surveying. Once I dedicate which towers are going to go where, then I'll see what can be dedicated to the other one over there. But with that train being, you know, a lot <laughs> flatter, it's not, we're not dealing with cliffs mm -hmm. and rocks and everything like yeah, that. That'd be an easier one. To Most likely, if it's going to be doable, we might have to hire, there's specialty companies that'll come in and they'll cut the, the towers down lower, right? Mm -hmm. So that they, they'll, make the right height for us, you know what I mean? Yeah. So, you know, it just comes down to hopefully everything lays out. It, well, he's laying that out, he's gonna keep in mind of, of utilizing exactly what he needs there in hopes of pulling off the other lift on the other side down the road when we have the funding. I don't I don't see, unless funding, bigger funding comes through, I don't see the other lift going in right away. I do see the main lift going in right away yeah. uh, is, is the yeah. intention. I mean, use two thirds of it essentially or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so, yeah. but. That's, um, it's great. Yeah. <laughs> but, It'll just come down to that everything falling into place. But I, you know, the next year should be a busy year for Macaulay as far as things going on up there, I think. So. Bob DiGiorgio. So, clarification, I'm a little confused. You have to take the old the, the old T-bar completely down? I don't know the answer to that. We'll find out that with the whole good. thing here. So, you know. And is that a helicopter needed? Taking down? I don't think for Olympic taking down that the, the that's not. I don't think <laughs> that's a helicopter. Right. I, I think you drop them right there. And you know, honestly, if you look at the cement, I'm, again, I'm not a builder. I'm not a contractor. I don't know, but you know, when I go up there and look at the footings that are there now that the towers are sitting on, they're pretty low to the ground. I don't think we should be spending any money to take them out or remove them unless, for some reason, the engineer tells us that that is the exact spot that this new other tower has to go to. Um, so that would be like a hundred fifty thousand dollars savings from demoing out just the cement that we've seen and and and, and budget um, that we've gotten for things. Just from past experience, I don't have a problem with you leaving concrete in the ground, but please, please, Jesus Christ, cut the bolts off <laughs> because we did not do that on the top of the head wall when they took the gun down, and your tiller and groomer found them multiple times and. <laughs> multiple kids. No, it makes sense. <laughs> no, it well, should be just left to the foundation, right? Yeah. Yeah. You got please take folks out. <laughs> so, because <laughs> there's some still at the top of the head wall from the snowmaking tower that pops its head out yeah. all the time. In. And there may even be need a helicopter to fly cement up too. Um, you know. So there, there's there's a few little factors in there that had to be worked out that we don't know until the engineer gets done with the plan, and then as soon as the engineer okay. gets done with the plan, and we know we're replacing things, then it can be identified and, and bid out to what's actually going to need to be done and what, what equipment's going to need to be used. So it'd be nice to see that done by February, so that you know. Yeah, so, but he's ready to go. He's he called me the other day. He's like, "What's the story?" And I'm like, "Well, hopefully you'll know Tuesday." I asked him to put together a proposal. In the meantime, because he is the only guy, so you know, um, and he told me verbally over the phone roughly what it's going to be, but um, that's that's where it's at. <coughs> would he put together the bid package to? Uh, I think he would. For yeah. the demo uh, to take it down up I there, think, right? I think I'll ask him. I'll double check him on that question. But sort of soup the nuts. He demo up there, transportation, concrete. Um, 
that's the hope is that he's going to do oh. all of that stuff yeah. and let us know how it breaks down for it. Yeah. yeah. If not, we'll have to bring in. You know, there probably is. We're, we're probably going to have to bring in a construction management team to to oversee this. You know, right. there needs to be somebody in place that's got their eye on the target, right? I mean, I don't think any of us are that person. So. Good luck with it. So that's great. Yeah. Yeah. So. Any other questions or comments, Kelly? Um, are, where are we with the stickers? Uh, Nancy, do you want to answer that, please? Or I'm we, just curious. We gave a picture of what we wanted, and I'm waiting to hear back. Huh. We had had special art, so we had to turn ours into Adobe something something, and I haven't heard back from them. Stickers for the garbage. Oh, for the garbage. garbage. Oh, oh. oh, good. That's moving forward. Yeah. Yeah. Good. yeah. Anybody else? All right. I'm going to go ahead and ask for a motion to pay the audit of claims. I'll right. make a motion. Okay. Second. Second. Barb. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. All opposed? Can I have a motion to adjourn tonight's meeting? So moved. I'll second. second. All right. I want to thank everybody. Oh, I'm sorry. All in favor? Aye. 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 <laughs> All opposed? Okay. I want to thank everybody for coming tonight, and we will see you at the next meeting. Thank you very much. Thank you, Kyle.